Pumpkin Farms are finally open. One of the ones we have always loved to go to is Swan's Pumpkin Farm. And I will put the information down below if you want to go ahead and take a look. They are located in Racine, Wisconsin. <clears throat> And they are such a fun time. Now, one of the things that I really have a lot of respect for is the fact that they've made a lot of adjustments. They have really taken out things that could cause a problem. They have added tons of hand sanitizers all over the place. You can see the guy was just delivering some. We got there right when they opened. And what I noticed was they were constantly wiping things down. They were all over making sure that they were full, that all the hand sanitizer dispensers were full, encouraging the kids before they went on everything to again, wipe their hands down, keep your masks on. And it was a really great time. Very different than it's been in the past. There were a couple of things you'll notice, like for example, this is opening weekend. So what they did, they used to have this farm way in the back that you could walk through this whole pumpkin village. And that unfortunately does not exist anymore. But for the first time, they're allowing you to go out to the pumpkin fields and actually pick your own. Now, the other thing that was really cool was that for the kids, they offered a ton of different things to do. And the wristbands were not horribly expensive. So we went ahead and got them those, and I'll show the prices in just a few moments. They were $10 for the wristbands and an additional five ride, $5 for the pony rides, which my kids loved. I mean, literally, you can see Erin's like, oh, I guess she's just going to head on out. And the little one jumped right on, and she is such the little cowgirl. She loves Jessie, so it's kind of her deal. And they both got to just enjoy being kids, and I felt like the environment was very safe. They really were doing a great job of keeping everything clean. It was so much fun to go and to just sort of, you know, watch your kids do the things that you used to do. Now you can see they tried to set up the little general store so that it kind of felt like what they used to have. But they also had these really fun little barrel rides. They had the bouncy pumpkin. They had the little carts that you just saw. They also had a hay ride and a hay slash cornfield maze, um, which was really fun. Again, Obviously a little different than what we've been to, but look at how beautiful, like it was the perfect day today. People were out picking pumpkins, enjoying each other's time. And I really felt like people were very respectful of space, which is a huge part of right now. <laughs> you know, there was plenty of space to be had by all. Now I get, I don't know if there eventually will become field trips again for kids, probably not right now. So this, pumpkin farm typically does do huge um, school groups so if your child is not going to get to go on one of those pumpkin farm adventures I don't care where you live I highly encourage you go and support these small businesses because without those school groups coming through it's going to be very tough for them to continue moving forward so again I don't work for them I just I've gone there for years and years and I absolutely love this pumpkin farm Now, please know that when we got there, it was Sunday morning and it was about 15 minutes before they opened. So it did get more busy uh, as we left. We ended up leaving about one o'clock here in Wisconsin. Uh, at high noon, we had the Green Bay Packers playing. So of course, most of the people were not at the pumpkin farms, which is why it was pretty quiet, which is why we picked today to head on over. It is opening weekend, so they'll be doing this all the way through Halloween. They have beautiful pumpkins, and 
the guy on the hayride, you can see it's not a true hayride anymore because that's just not safe. So they built benches, which I'll be really honest, as an adult, it is so much better to sit on a bench than to roll around and sit in the hay and end up wearing most of it all the way home. <clears throat> but it was really fun. He answered a lot of questions and I guess the pumpkin patch this year had these enormous pumpkins. So they are currently in the process of the further field getting all of those. So in other words, there'll be a lot more pumpkins than what I showed. As you can see, they're just lining them up and then they're gonna come through, pick them all and get them up to the front. You'll still be able to go to the first patch, which is much closer, but you can see we're way out. So this is their extended lot, but gorgeous, huge pumpkins. I mean, we're talking probably 16 to 20 inches tall. Uh, just really fun and I'm hoping lots of pumpkin seeds. Now, one of the things you may want to verify, if the kids get a wristband, it did say that they can have one adult go with them. So you may not have to purchase um, a $5 ride coupon for the adult to go on the hayride. Double check at the front desk first. We found out afterwards, which was totally fine. Um, I'm happy to support a small business, so. One of the things that I really liked was that they still had all the photo opportunity moments, not to mention you can see they've got a lot of the pumpkins already out. Everyone was very respectful and you can see they had lots of signage as well. So they encourage you to use the hand sanitizer to don't move tables, be respectful of others, stay home if you don't feel good, Just make sure you stay six large pumpkins apart. So that's kind of fun. I like that everybody always has their analogy based on their market or their niche it's kind of fun again they also still had their storefront now they used to have a huge halloween store not anymore it's much smaller full of fresh produce as well as um, jams and honey <clears throat> they also had goats that you could go and visit a large inflatable that you get your picture by and then some boat bumper boats that the kids could play with Pricing is very different at Swans. Now it's just based off the pumpkin size. And then that you saw they had an example. They also had a ton of these cute little pumpkins and then lots of squash and gourds and some other stuff, which was fun. They also had some farm fresh donuts, which are my husband's favorite. And so we picked up a couple of those. And it was just so nice to kind of have an afternoon of one beautiful weather and two, you know, just to feel, you know, like everything was fine and it all is, you know, it's just a matter of time. We'll all get through this together and just make sure if you love going to the pumpkin farm, you know, research out which one you want to go to. We love Swan's Pumpkin Farm because it really is kind of a half a day situation, which is perfect with two little kids. And I absolutely love that it's a family business that's been around for a long time. I mean, first time I went there, I was pretty young. So it has been around for a little while and I enjoy being able to support small business because they are what's gonna be there for us when we continue to move forward in life. Thank you, Swan Pumpkin Farm. They did not sponsor this video. This was truly done because how much I really enjoy this farm. I had such a great time. I hope that I inspired you to head out to a pumpkin farm near you. 